Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Last time we talked to a absolute ton of people, and we're about to do that again today. <laughs> Just be going around being a general pain in the ass. And then I uh, got pickpocketed by some kids. So that'll be a fun thing to resolve, I'm sure. But let's continue down this way. Please, last room. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, Hellspawn! And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Radrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat! Well, <laughs> that's uh, quite the deterrent. I'm a bear! We need to get Arabella out! Now! You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake! Ugh. Uh... I saw what happened. Why are the druids holding your daughter? Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wish the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. Breaking into druid chambers to steal a secret relic. Oh, she sounds like fun. <laughs> uh, she's just a child. You've got your work cut out for you. Like you said, it's your fault. Thieves deserve to be punished, as simple as that. No, let's, uh... You should have tried parenting her. And you should bugger off. <laughs> now! <laughs> I'm just making enemies everywhere I go, Lives dude. Lives are at stake, and the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. By a bear. We could help each other, fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. Those dirt kissers would let us die for the sake of their <laughs> bloody grunt. Dirt kissers. That's funny. I can take on a bear. Give him a chance. You get back. I am not moving. <laughs> I am stationary. If it weren't me, you'd be overrun by goblins night now. I'll go where I please. That sounds fun. Keep back. Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh. I understand. You. Apparently Corga wants to see you. Go ahead. What the hell? What happened to my character? Alas. I've never learned to converse with your kind. What the fuck happened? Someone joined my game? One second. Okay. <laughs> Someone did join my game. That's funny. Your welcome can be easily withdrawn, outsider. Respect our grove or face our claws. Yeah, whatever. What do you have to say for yourself? I've known a few wars oh, not in you. my time. Talented, <laughs> of course, though sometimes too eager to listen to the devils on their shoulders. <laughs> Comes with the territory, unfortunately. Okay. Few outsiders are allowed in here. Be respectful and do not interfere. Okie doke. Jonas! Ah, my good friend! You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Fine, ask your questions. Glory. Now then. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Uh, size, nature, distinguishing qualities? 
You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Common variety goblin led by a lasher and flanked by booyags. Booyags? Same as all the others, lowly and vile. Goblins struck fear and awe in heart of wilting witness. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? <laughs> mm, there was no dragon. Witnesses failed to notice the obvious dragon. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Uh, did they? I think so. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Huh. Goblin superstition, not worth the ink and parchment. Ah, but is superstition all? These goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. Be careful, goblins are no for, aren't known for their mercy. Why the dragon? Uh, yeah, just be careful, bro. Never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick tongue, hmm? And an invisibility potion stashed in your back pocket. Until we meet again. No, kiddo. What about bear? Mm. Hello, bear. <laughs> okay. Have a good day, bear. Is that a bucket of fish? Keep away from Tuft. She's lazy enough as it is. Yes. Ah. Yes, I see. Defende nos ab iminentibus alquilibrio tuo. Okay. Complexum tuum ab terra otum ad nos defera. That must be the ritual they were talking about. Can I run through this? I can. I can go in here. I can just straight up take the idol. Okay. That's cool. What about bear? Or the fish next to the elevator. Oh, okay. Now we get the elevator. Oh, cool. Shortcut. <laughs> Got a little bird I see. Throwing some shit around. Topaz. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Take the gold. Magnifying glass, wheat. Okay. I wonder what that key's to. Where is that key? Oh, is it on my key ring? Shiny key. Speak. 
What were you saying to that bird? The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. Intimidation, baby. Hmm, suspicious. Do the other druids know? Because I'll tell them. Hey, oh, there we go. 22, baby. No, please. A moment. We may talk, but I do not trust my brethren. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. And she's wrong. <laughs> Sounds like she has to be stopped. You still haven't told me what you told that bird. Perhaps not. But that does not make it right. Only Master Hulsin can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. If not, I fear for my people. Shouldn't the ritual protect the grove? You're not helping the others prepare it. I hear a ritual can protect the grove. Are you helping prepare it? Those are the same fucking thing. The ritual is Korgus' decision. But she is not our leader. Master Halson welcomes the refugees in. I wait for him to resolve this. Leave. Bunch of shit on the You're table. My patience, pig. Yeah, pig. Is that it? Seems to be it. There's a door over here. Let's see what this does. Let's save the game. Let's see what's going on here. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. A death viper. You've milked that poison before. A single drop of it could kill that child in a heartbeat. <laughs> Do nothing. Rath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. The death of a child. A timeless tragedy that never grows old. <laughs> Flick your eyes to the edge so the child can try to run. Your mind wants the snake to kill the child, but your heart doesn't snap out of it. Nature, persuasion, paladin, detect thoughts, keep silent. Let's do uh, persuasion, release her. Uh, no. Flick my eyes towards the exit, see if the child will run. No. <gasps> oh, no. Oh. To me. <laughs> Shit. <gasps> Damn. Gone. By the gods, Korga, what have you done? Killed a child, bro. <laughs> Bury the remains. <laughs> Continue the right. And the parents? They're just outside. This outsider will take word once I've spoken to him. We must focus on the right. She's dead. <laughs> oh, 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 guardians, oh. Not oh my god. She knew the danger. She still tried to run. Oof. Big oof. What's Mercy up, dude? You okay? Sylvanas. <laughs> Mercy. 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 That snake must be held accountable. It was a terrible accident. 
The child is to blame. She shouldn't have stolen it in the first place. You let Koga defoul this sacred place with a child's blood, yet you plead mercy, coward? You may be right. We've let a snake replace our leader. And the result, by the tree father, that girl. Koga seems happy to rule this route. <laughs> Who's your real leader? Uh, the girl's parents want vengeance and they deserve it. How did Koga take over the whole grove? Uh, they want this vengeance. This is how a terrible cycle begins. All is out of balance. We need Master Halsin. Without him, Korga's ritual will divide this grove forever. I'm looking for Nettie. Ah, I see. You will find her deeper in the caves. If no one's looking for Halsin, I'll, I'll do it. I would give anything to see Halsin return home. No need to fret, I'll find him. I like a more solid offer than anything. <laughs> Our need is great. I will open the treasures of this grove to you, even if the circle forbids it. Halsin is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Cool. Now, question is... Let's go to the shadow. Oh. Go. Is that okay. Blood? Now, let's talk to her. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Hell yeah, I do, brother. Fist bump. <laughs> Honestly, I just wanted to see what would happen. You're protecting your own. You expect pity. You killed a child in cold blood. That depends. It was an accident. Honestly, I just wanted to see what Monsters would happen. Monsters both, then. Viper to viper. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the writers resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. This right must be a powerful bo born of powerful magic. Uh, <sighs> free from the threat of a little children. She stole the idol of Sylvanus <laughs> during prayer and interrupted the right. Why? I don't know or care. This right must be born of powerful magic. The right of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands. That we choke them out. Wood half elf. Turning your back on the needy. Is that truly the way of Sylvanus? I came here on behalf of Zel. Zelvor? I fucking. I'm losing my mind. Zelvor. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Zevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. <laughs> you will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Okay, cool. We need to find a way forward. What's in here? This is Servants' quarters? I became a druid. Having second thought. Uh, you know what? I can actually hit Tilda and it'll show me all the people I can interact with. Or creatures. Uh, so there's two guys over here I didn't talk to. I 
have something to ask. We never meant to hurt a child. We never meant to hurt a child. This grove has been disrupted enough. <laughs> Goblin attacks, and now a dead child. We never should have opened our gates. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. He said Nettie was back here. A number on you, there he is. I see you. Just give me a moment. Excuse me, I'm more important than some bird. God, our field mouse. No one's more important than the patient in front of you. This medicament. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. No. Bird models are a little rough. What was it you needed? <laughs> I'm looking for Nettie. Uh, healing looks like I can do the right I person. Can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. I'm covered in blood. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. Nobody can put this. I have a tadpole in my head. Everything about is, me is sick. The dizzy spells, the memory loss, the illithid parasite. I'll say the second one. A tadpole. A mind flare tadpole. You know of them? Can you help? What other kinds are there? <laughs> Not like a frog hopped into my eye. <laughs> That's a serious condition. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. Oh, yo, what? Hey, yo. What's in hizzy? This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Brown I have the same parasite. I was hoping for a little <laughs> grave cure. So you killed him and laid him out on the table? Is everything... Is everyone being captured by mind flares these days? No. You killed him and let him out on the table? No. That was Master Halson. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. Please, don't mind me. I'll just watch. All right. Let's see what we can do. What's with the plant? Will it help? It might. But first things first, tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Nah, I think she's trying to kill me. Uh, nope, nothing strange. I just want it out of my head. Intellect Devourer spoke to me as if it was one of their own. I fell from the ship, but something caught me. It saved my life. I can merge my mind with other else, anyone else Victims that's infected. Can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. On a Mind Flayer ship, I was kidnapped and infected. A Mind Flayer ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. <laughs> Thought you could cure me, but what about that branch of the yours? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort. In case I couldn't trust you. Yeah, see, I don't have hold a it. Cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you. 
But I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? All right, I hand it over. Swear it. I swear. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Why did the door because open? You should all be changing. <laughs> there should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. Perfectly normal, she says to the nine foot two man. Um, uh, what do you mean should be changing? You must have learned something from studying them. For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from mind flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. So you think it's only a matter of time? That's good news. <laughs> Said you were tracking other victims. Did they change? Hard to say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. So what do you want me to do? So go and get him? I've sent birds to find him, but the place is rotten with goblins. And if my birds can't get close, what chance do I have? You though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean, they won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned, and perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Sounds like you're making a lot of assumptions that could kill me. <laughs> the way I see it, you have two options. Halson, or that wyvern poison. I don't envy your choice, truly. But this is the hand fate's dealt you. All right, fine. I'll find him. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Oh no, I didn't make an oath. <laughs> I did not make an oath. There it is. One to eight damage. That's nothing, dude. Don't want to draw any attention. There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look. Mind flare parasite specimen. Halson's journal. Handwritten note, his pipe. Maybe I need more pockets. Let's check out his journal. Let's just take all his shit. Fuck him. Okay. Anything else in here? Before? Oops. a bunch of books yeah all right well let's start heading out start heading out that way then okay got a big old pot of stew well I already went in here, right? Yeah. So 
so let's go over here. Let's start heading out to see if we can find that man. Oh, he's having fun. Look at him. He's just chonking around. Now, what about this gate over here? Keep their confidence, if you insist. Anything up here? Hello? She's singing the squirrels? Stay silent and listen. What's the tune you're singing? I gotta put this. That sounded a little unpolished. It sounded like <laughs> a cat being strangled. God damn it! This grove can be become a battlefield soon enough. It's not the time for music. Better swatch that loop for a weapon. You'll need one soon enough. Violence doesn't fix everything, you know. Music can help in ways a silly blade can't. Besides, I'm not doing this for me. This is for the people I... We lost on the way here. It's important. Dexterity snatch the loot out of her hands and smash it. <laughs> Fucking do it. Let's go, dude. Oh, this poor girl. Oh, no. What have I done? so sweet, bad odiously sweet <laughs> the vomitous gall within churns she sickens you <laughs> you fucks kid talk to me again though I am just an all-around fucking bully, dude. Jesus Christ. I think I'm gonna call it there for today. Holy hell. Hilarious. So, oh, shit. The famed Blade of Frontiers. I feel safer already. Okay, cool. Oh, man. <laughs> Next episode, we're gonna continue just absolutely being an asshole. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one.